on this video how to set up the live trading alerts T-Line band scan. I've been asked by several people to uh, put a little video together, so I thought I would do that. Um, the first thing I want to do is talk about what I like about it. I've got three little charts to show you, and then we'll, we'll get this thing set up. My, uh, one of my favorite scans is, of course, uh, or trades rather, is, of course, a chart that's trending. And then inside that trend or within that trend, I want to trade uh, minor pullbacks. Minor pullbacks might be something like this right here uh, to where we pull back. And then I want to be alerted for a buy signal. Here's a run and here's a pullback and there's a buy signal. Uh, here's a run, here's a pullback and that might be a buy signal. And that's kind of what I'm looking for uh, inside a chart, looking for those signals that might give me that candlestick price action, some consolidation or breakout patterns. Um, here's another chart uh, as well. Here's Cisco. Uh, see how Cisco has, uh, we rallied up here, we pulled back, and now we start getting a little buy signal in here, a little morning star signal, and there's the run, there's the money shot. Uh, here's, uh, if we run that up again, here's our pullback. This might be our buy signal and there's the money shot. Uh, back here, and these are the T-line bands by the way, and you don't have to have these on your chart. You'll see with the scanner, it brings the charts up automatically. Uh, it has nothing to do with physically seeing the bands. Uh, it's just simply reading the chart. Uh, but these bands here, if we were looking at this back in February, these bands would be back down into this area and you'd see things like this little bullish engulf right here or you'd see this rally, a little pullback and that little doji gap up, morning start kind of signal here and that run. Here's another one, uh, uh, General Mills, GIS. And you can see where General Mills has, uh, we popped up and here we've pulled back. Well, that might be a reason to be a buyer right in here. A little pop out of the box. These kind of things show up on this scan. Here we've ran up and we've pulled back and put in a little morning star signal here. And it's within the bands, that green line and the red line. That's what I'm looking for. So that's what I'm looking for when I'm, uh, when I'm trading the T-line band scan. Uh, basically that, that rally up, that pullback, and that buy signal within the confines of, of uh, the, the T-line bands right here. All right, let me, let me show you how to set this up. It's pretty easy, really. It, it truly is. So what we're going to do is uh, go to your LTA scanner and bring up a, uh, the main application window. Let me do that right now. There we go. Uh, I've got the LTA main application window up. And the first thing we're going to do is pick the universe that we're going to trade from. <clears throat> and I'm just going to choose the CBOE top 300. Uh, option volume list. You're more than welcome to pick the uh, S&P 500 or Canadian stocks or just ETFs, or you can make your own user list or even use the entire list of the LTA uh, scanner. So make sure we pick one of those. The next thing we're going to do is come down to the uh, field filter scans box right here. And we're going to put our cursor right here. And then what we're going to do is just start typing T-line bands, T-line, uh, just like that. And then you'll see all the uh, T-line bands will come up, bull or bear. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose the bull T-line band all, T-line band all. So left click, and there it is. Um, the next thing we want to do is come over here and change this weekly, the time frame to scan. We're going to change this to daily. It's going to rescan every 15 minutes. 
and let's click when you see this red down here you need to click rescan so let that rescan and we're going to click filtered so that the only thing we're going to see through there are stocks that qualify for the t-line bands you can see there's 65 on the list right now now we're going to make sure that new high has a check mark in it and we're going to make sure uh, in the time frame we're going to make sure the daily is checked and then we're going to create the window just come right down and create create window just like that and we want to name it you can name it whatever you want i'll just name this uh t-line uh, band scan there we go and then i'm going to click ok and there you have it the t-line band scan should show up on your um, one of your uh, screens, one of your desktop screens. And then when stocks start alerting, they'll come up into this scan right here. You'll be able to see them. Uh, what they'll do is they'll look like this right here. Um, uh, uh, you'll see, well, you won't see GIS or Visa or IMMU, but as they start coming up, you'll see the ticker symbols come up like this. All righty. Let's see, I've got one, here we are. Uh, so the, I, that concludes it. I hope that was uh, uh, easy enough to follow along with. If not, uh, please let me know. Uh, the scanner the scanner is a leap ahead of the uh, majority of traders. It, it is a special class of itself. And um, it it is something that absolutely gives you the trading edge that we all want. Um, we all want, you know, a secret little edge or that that holy grail. It's, it's not the holy, <coughs> it's not the holy grail, but it definitely gives you that that trading edge. And uh, you know, if anything like this might interest you, automated scans create your own strategies. Know when stocks are just breaking out or breaking down and identifying unusual volume. Well, the scanner just might be for you. So follow that arrow down below, down below, below this arrow, there'll be a link that'll take you to the scanner if you're interested in picking it up. Again, this is Rick with Hit and Run Candlesticks. Remember, follow that arrow, look for that link underneath that arrow. Everybody take care. Hope you enjoyed the video.